Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, part 76, Baldur's Gate 3. I do apologize, the last video may be a bit short. I did want to include the whole Will and Mizora situation, but um, the game actually crashed. So I was like, well, that might be a good place to end things, I guess. So um, anyways. Okay, so uh, game crashed uh, and then I sort of just went around and um, I was in the Thieves Guild sort of restocking supplies, so I just did that again. And then I ran around and talked to everyone in camp just to make sure we were all good in the hood. Um, in talking to uh, Winged Lass, um, we can finally continue this quest, I guess. Um, we need to go confront Lorikin. So, I guess my plan for this video and maybe the next video is to just sort of clean everything up here. You know what I mean? Um, we'll do this one. Uh, maybe we'll go do this one. And then, yeah, we need to do Viconia. So, um, at some point, <laughs> we may defeat her, we may not. This may never get finished. Okay, uh, do I need to just talk to Will? Oh no, I've started a conversation. Oh, yep. She's right there. Someone's right there. Testament. No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. Holy hells. Just what are you up to? I come to bargain. The hells demand witness. Your parasite links with wills, and your memories flow into him. He sees his father's flight from Worm's Rock, and hears Mizora's words to you. Shit. Where did Gortash send my father? How do I save him? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. What are you proposing? A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one. I raise your father from the dead, and you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact 
and you are freed from your duty. Your father remains dead, and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you arsehole. Choose. Well, hold on. I can't even talk to Will and see what he would prefer. It's either just break the pact or bring your father back. But it's like, could I see what Will would want to do? What will happen to Will's powers if he breaks the pact? Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. So, there's no option to just sort of chat with Will and ask him what he would prefer? I mean, I guess do the right thing, give your soul so that your father can live? You damned wretch. Do it then. Claim my soul for Zariel. Bring my father back. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Are they giving us a car? To the Grand Dukes. He is still infected, but his parasite is weak, shielded from the Absolute by the Astral Prism. What? What's happened? Will? Is that you? It's me, Father. It's all right. You're safe here. A promise made, a promise kept. I'll let you two catch up. I'm sure you've got plenty to talk about. You know, I think I'll stick around. Watch this play out. I could use the entertainment. I'm assuming it would have been a similar thing if his father had lived or uh, had lived, full stop. Um, I just, I, I don't particularly like having to have made that decision without being able to at least talk to Will about it. I don't know, that just seemed like a really forced outcome. Please, we need to see to my father. Okay, you had an exclamation mark above your head. Far out. Seems like a good moment to talk. Tadpole resonates with Raven Guards. The exhausted Grand Duke is a flurry of emotion. Gratitude and relief. Anger and deep pain. Will. It can't be. By Bull 
children's graces have you fallen so far that a Vernus has taken you? My son, a monster, twisted beyond recognition to think my blood flows through those veins. Is this my fate? To rise from death into a hell of my own boy's making? It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me, on your city, to chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. It is exactly what I think. Call on the parasite, connect with father and son. Raven Guard should know the truth. Raven Guard's tadpole clenches as your memories and wills flow into him. My tears wills. I'm in your mind. The Grand Duke sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. No. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Ravenguard sees Will partnering with Mizora to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to Baldur's Gate. And he sees everything beyond. The Nautiloid journey, the perilous path to Moonrise, the Astral Prism, and the Emperor within. Well, everything I did, I did for Baldur's Gate. I did for you. It's true, Ravenguard. Will has always been a faithful defender of Baldur's Gate. My son. You sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate. And I cast you out for it. You gave yourself to the Hell's eternal fire so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most, and a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but... My duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Go on. Before I was captured, I was on a mission. Returning from Elterel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. I didn't despair, because the city has a secret guardian, a worm that sleeps beneath. He can be called upon in times of great need. This is such a time. You've been trained in the ways of the great champions and proven to be one of them. The worm will answer your call. You must seek him out. A worm? Are you saying there's a dragon living under the city? A bronze dragon, yes. He sleeps beneath us even now, awaiting a hero to rouse him. The worm goes by many names. Ansur, the waiting storm, the heart of the gate. He promised Baldurin he'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened, but just the once. Since then, the city has faced countless threats, but we always overcame. There was never a need to call on the worm. Until now, the Absolute is the greatest threat Baldur's Gate ever faced. The worm must be awakened, and the task falls to you. Take this. The legend of Ansur, an ancient epic, ill-remembered, dismissed 
as a mere tale. Let it set the path before you. Wouldn't you rather wake the dragon yourself? The legend has it that Ansar will only answer to a proven hero of the city. Until a moment ago, I thought that was me. But is he who rejects his own child a hero? What of he who calls his brave son a monster? You showed me the truth. You showed me that I was the one who turned his back. I mean, we all make mistakes. You showed me that Will may be the future of Baldur's Gate, and well beyond it. Your faith in Will is well founded. We will seek the worm and ask for his help. Thank you. And may the city know the truth of my only son. Pride of Ravenguard. Pride of Baldur's Gate. And this is where I get frustrated at only being able to travel with three companions. I feel like most of them are written remarkably well. And yet I'm kind of stuck with a handful of them on the sidelines. Um, but I'm glad that we've been able to explore Will's kind of backstory. That's also a bit of a plot twist because I, yeah... I was expecting it to be complete. Um, I guess we have to check out the book that he gave us. Oh gosh, I have to find it. What was it called? Oh, it's a song. Ooh. Baldur's Gate, Great Baldurin's Birth, a Baldurin founder Jew veneration, his guardian dragon answer tremendous in worth, a savior below our eternal elation, to worm way neath prison's deepest level, to be found by not a soul nor devil. Entrance in worm's rock prison, yep, that's fair. With a lightning shock, a true hero's spark flickers. The torch is alight. The worm's eyes shall awake a glitter. Something about sparks and torches. Use lightning skills. All right, Jahira's got some of those. It's trials no common adventurer may exceed. When each day sends forth new ones to their fates. But one great hero by the founder's will decree shall only once grant our age the heart of the gate. Only a hero can pass the trials and awaken an answer. So I, I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit like Orin, where we're going to have to face some trials. All right, now what? Um, after reading, we discovered the Great Worm um, resides in a secret lair called Wormway. The entrance is apparently located somewhere within the prison. Uh, a hint at an opening that involves lightning sparks and torches. That's a bit awkward because I think I sold all of our torches, so hopefully it's not torches that we need. Because we don't got any, unless maybe Shadowheart has some. She might still have some. Uh, I was going to say, do we actually have to rest? Yes. What a waste of supplies. What path lies before me? Picked up some half-eaten apples. Om nom nom. <laughs>
Okay, um, well, we can either go confront Laura Kim or go see if we can find this dragon. Those would be my two options right now, I think. Okay, fun fact. I went ahead and thought it would be easy to just whack this combat out. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, the Night Song hasn't healed since the battle with um, Kethric, I'm assuming. So she has no health and she died like the first round of combat. Um, and it's actually quite a, it's doable, but it's quite a difficult combat. So not having her there definitely, um, it, it just didn't go so well for me. And I'm not quite sure what to do about this because she's flown off. She's there. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't heal her because the moment we walk in, it's just straight into dialogue and then straight into combat. So, <laughs> I... Whoops, I guess that's my bad for assuming she would just heal herself uh, between rounds of combat, especially because it was so long ago, but apparently that's not the case. So I'm here just to do the whole dragon situation because, um, I don't know, I think that would be a bit more doable maybe. I'll give it a shot. Oh, oh, as always, one job. Get over here. Death greets us all, but not today. Oh, I really need to get her better weapons. Up. Oh, shivers, no. I mean, like, yes, but also no. love but you did just attack us uh, for no reason whatsoever do you have a key yes okay there's but wait there's more that's always the case isn't there uh, all right get you to just take a pot shot at someone who's in range yep classic good job off you go fuck yes tactical what's it gonna take oh, i should have done butterflies whoopsies be done forward I can't even catch my breath I should have just done death. Oh well. Hey, 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 hey. That's what you get. Ooh, okay, we're slowed. That's fine. Hey, whoa. Uh, whoa, hey. Just a casual stroll across the hall there. Nice. 
Nice. I'm heating up. And again. Oh, oh, okay, we've only got one action. But another harvest. Mm, that's a bit frustrating. What now? What path lies before me? Arrest them. <laughs> Keep that hope alive, my dude. Time to move. All right, so it looks like it's here somewhere. To find a way forward. Unless the prison has an even lower level, which could possibly be the case. Okay, so it's obviously something to do with the dragon head torches, no? Oh yeah, okay, so torches and lightning? Mm -hmm. Alright, that took a bit of time to figure out. I actually had to Google it because I was very focused on the wall at the back here. <laughs> Not so much the wall on the side where the torches were. That might be worth a look. No way through. <laughs> In this form at least. <laughs> 